Hey guys, Jess here with Unbound Media. Today I have a little bit of a review-unboxing-ish kind of video for you guys. We're going to be talking about the Recon Medical. Um, this is their basic bleed stopping kit, so without any further ado, let's get into it. Alright guys, so this is the basic bleed stopper kit put out by Recon Medical. This is a pre-made basic trauma kit. It doesn't have any hemostatic agents or uh, procoagulants or anything like that. This is just going to be your basic setup for basically any um, major hemorrhaging type injuries. So right off the bat, um, it comes in this package that's vacuum sealed. It just has a description of what's included in there. So it does have a Gen 4 tourniquet in there. Um, it does have some trauma shears. Um, it has some pressure bandage. Um, some of their branded compressed gauze has chest seals and it also has an emergency rescue blanket. So um, pretty awesome starter basic kit okay so let's just kind of get into this and you know kind of see what it is so, all, right. all right so after opening the package the first thing you'll see here is um, a tourniquet so there's that then this is I believe their version of an Israeli bandage, compression bandage, yeah. And then it does have these trauma shears, which seem like they're really good quality. Um, it's really easy to come across cheap trauma shears, but these ones, I kind of, I kind of like them. Yeah has the Recon Medical branding on it. Okay, next up we have the compressed gauze. And then this is the emergency rescue blanket. And then lastly, this is their version of the chest seal and uh, this is pretty awesome because it is vented. I may get into another video talking about this later but the benefit of having a vented a vented uh, chest seal is it helps prevent a tension pneumothorax from occurring. Um, it'll allow some of the pressure in the chest to escape. So yeah. All right guys, so my impression of the basic bleed stopping kit by Raycon Medical, um, I think it's a great starting place. Is it something where you can purchase it and call your kit complete? No, no, no it's not. However, if you're looking for a great place to start this kit, is a great place to start. So um, I just loaded it up in my IFAC that I carry in my get home bag and put a couple extra things in here. Um, and I'm gonna do a full review on this kit later because this is awesome. It's made by 14er. This pouch itself, it's a great option if you're not going for a bulky trauma kit, but everything, I was able to get it in here neatly. Plus add a couple things like nitrile gloves, um, which brings me to my next point. If there were a couple things I would add to this kit and feel really good about it, um, I would add a decompression needle and I would add nitrile gloves to it. And that would be an excellent place to start just for a basic kit getting started out. Um, carrying this, I know that there are not many trauma 
related injuries that I am ill prepared to handle. So yeah, I'm gonna get into why I carry such an extensive bleed stopping kit in a different video. Long story short, I carry a tool that is designed to end life. You know, if I'm gonna put a lot of time, energy, and training into that tool, I find it necessary to put a lot of time, energy, and training into gear and tools that can save life. So this is my overall view of the Recon Medical Basic Bleed Stopping Kit. It's a great place to start. I will put a link for these guys down in the description if you are interested. I do not, I'm not affiliated with them, but uh, they did send me this just to show you guys. So yeah, thank you for hanging out with me for this little amount of time and uh, have a great morning, night, evening, whatever it is. And uh, we'll catch you on the next video. And until then, keep on threading.